So now we are going to discuss about method of analysis of trusses. So method of analysis of trusses divided into three major types. One is method of joints, method of sections, and graphical method. Method of joint, method of section, and graphical method. So let us discuss about method of joint. So method of joint. This is the space diagram. Just for example, so method of joint, which means we have to take individual joints first. So we have to take individual joints. Joint by joint, we are going to solve the problem. So that is method of joint. Say for example, let us take first joint and solve the problem and determine these two parameters, and take second joint and determine these two, and take the third one. And determine these two, right? So, join by join, we are going to solve the problem. So, that all comes under method of joins. So, in this method, each and every joint is treated as a free body equilibrium, and we have to use summation of vertical forces equal to zero, summation of horizontal forces equal to zero. Based on this, we have to solve the problem by this method of join method. In the method of join method, if suppose we want to calculate all the joints, so for that method of join is after one. Whereas, for method of sections, when the forces in few members of the trusses are to be determined, then this method of section method is after one. right? So, in this method of section divided into three steps, one is the section line is passed through the members in which the forces are to be determined. If we want to calculate few members so the line it should be passed through whose forces was whose forces are required right if i want to calculate b and a the section line it should be passed through this a ab line right and i want to calculate these three the line it should be passed through the ab and bc right so the second one is the second point is the section line should be drawn in such a way that it does not cut more than three members right one section line should not cut more than three members right that is the limitation right let us take method of uh, ana method of analysis of trusses the first one method of joint right so this is the in simple problem find the forces in the members a b a c and b c now we want to calculate a b BC and AC of the trusses shown in the figure. It is a very simple problem. We have to calculate RB and RC, then the forces. I mean, the forces of AB, forces of AC, and forces of BC. So, these things we have to calculate, right? Now, first determine the reaction forces. First, we have to determine, first, we have to determine the reaction forces reaction forces first we have to determine reaction forces r b and r c right so consider the triangle a b c right so two two reaction forces are there one is r b another one is r c right we know that the equation r b plus r c upward forces which is equal to downward forces 20 kilo newton this is equation 1 first we have to frame the equation right 1 then we have to take moment right so for that moment we have to calculate the perpendicular distance suppose for example if i want to take moment about b only one force which is acting clockwise direction with respect to b then what is the perpendicular distance we don't know that we have to find out so this is the perpendicularity and this is the perpendicular distance x this distance we want to calculate right so consider the triangle abc and we have to calculate the length of ab right the length of ab so what is the length of ab the length of ab which is equal to cos 60 degree into adjacent side 5 so which is equal to what is the value 2.5 meter right the length of ab which is equal to 5 i mean 2.5 centimeter right now let us consider this point which is d right now consider the triangle a b d right so we want to calculate the perpendicular distance x <coughs> right so this is uh, bd we want right so b d which is equal to 
the hypotenuse 2.5 into cos 60 degree. So, what is the value which is equal to 1.25 meter right. So, this is the perpendicular sense x value B D the distance between B D which is equal to 1.25 right. Now, now let us um, take moment. So, now let us take moment about point B right. So, clockwise direction which is equal to anti clockwise direction. So, R C into 5 which is anti clockwise direction which is equal to 20 into B D value B D which is equal to what is the value R C which is equal to R C R C which is equal to 20 into B D 20 into B D 1.25 divided by 5 what is the value 20 into 25 20 into 25 which is equal to 25 so 20 into 1.25 divided by 5 which is equal to 5 kilo newton so rc which is equal to 5 kilo newton so rc which is equal to 5 kilo newton right now substitute this value in this equation you will get rc right so rc we know that so rb which is equal to 20 minus 5 so rb which is equal to 15 kilo newton right so now we got rc and rb right so now let us take <coughs> joint by joint right so now let us consider the joint b right so now let us consider joint b now let us consider joint b right so joint b like this this is r this is joint b and the reaction force r b is there right so let us uh, assume the directions of forces a b right so this is 60 degree we know that right so now this 60 this a b force is divided into two component vertical and horizontal so my assumption is if this a b force is vertical then opposite is easy to solve right so that's why here downward this is f a c uh, sorry f a b right and this is if the f a b which is the horizontal force then this force which is equal to opposite right so this is f b c now now sum of horizontal forces which is equal to 0 sum of vertical forces which is equal to 0 right so the direction which is assumption this direction and this directions both are our assumptions right but we know that rb which is in the upward direction so now let us take horizontal forces which is equal to 0 how many horizontal forces are there um, first we have to solve vertical forces so vertical forces rb upward force which is equal to downward force fb right f a b into sin 60 degree right. So, f a b which is equal to r b what is the value r b 15 kilo Newton divided by sin 60 degree. So, f a b which is equal to what is the value 15 divided by sin 60 right. So, 15 divided by sin 60 degree which is equal to 17.32 right. So, which is 17.32. 17.32 kilo Newton this is the value of F A B clear. Now, we have to calculate F B C F B C is acting horizontal. So, let us take summation of horizontal forces equal to 0. So, sum of horizontal forces equal to 0. So, F A B is acting F A B cos 60 degree is acting towards left side which is equal to F B C. So, F B C which is equal to F A B we calculated which is 17.32 into cos 60 degree which is equal to 8.66. So, 8.66 kilo Newton this is F B C right. So, F A B calculated F B C calculated. So, F A B we assumed which is towards downward here what we got without any changes is there any direction change 
negative value we got only positive so what we assumed that is right so this is towards the point b so which is a compressive force right and similarly fbc what we got which is a positive value our assumption is towards right side or this direction is outward from point b which is a tensile force right with respect to b this fb direction which is a tensile force that's why this is a tensile force right now let us consider the next joint which is joint joint c now joint c now joint c so this is joint c and here rc is there right so already we calculated fc which is a fc which is a tensile force with respect to this point the direction which is outward that is f b c right so here the inclination which is equal to 30 degree actually the force force a c the force a c which is acting the incline so this is resolved on two component one is vertical another one is horizontal already here r c is there so if you want to solve easily then we have to assume this is the downward so this is downward portion which is f f a c right so now summation of vertical forces which is equal to 0 that we have to find first right so rc value we know that which is equal to f ac sin 30 degree so f ac which is equal to what is the value of rc what is the value of rc value rc which is equal to 5 right so 5 divided by sin 30 degree so f ac which is equal to 5 divided by sin 30, 5 divided by sin 30 which is equal to 10. So, 10 kilo Newton. So, this is the value of F A C, right. So, 3 joints are there, 3 members are there. We found F A B which is equal to 17.32 kilo Newton which is a compressive force and F B C which is equal to 8.66 kilo newton which is a tensile force and here what we got which is a positive value so the assumptions what we assume that is right so this arrow mark is towards the point so that is a compressive force right so f a c which is equal to 10 kilo newton which is a compressive force right so this is the value we got right so this is how we have to solve the problem. Now, we are going to solve the method of analysis of trusses by method of section. Right? The same problem what we discussed in the method of uh, joints. We have to find the distance of the C x already we calculated uh, in the previous problem which is equal to 1.25. So, x which is equal to 1.25 meter already we calculated and we calculated R e R B which is equal to 15 kilo Newton and R C which is equal to 5 kilo Newton already we calculated right the previous method I mean the method of joint now we are going to discuss about method of section with the same problem right. So, now find the forces in the members of A B and B C of the trusses shown in the figure right we have to find F A B and F B C that we have to find right two forces A B and B C A B force and B C force. So, for that we have to draw a section line which is passed through maximum of three members. So, here two members are there now I am uh, now I am going to draw a line a section line which is passing through the two two members what we are going to find out this is section line 1 this section line passes through the force a b i mean the member a b and member b c what i want to calculate that is force a b and force b c right and this is the section line right so now we are going to find out f a b and f a c now take moment here we are uh, we can able to use three formulas horizontal forces which is equal to 0 and summation of vertical forces which is equal to 0 and sum of moments which is equal to 0 this is added advantage of in this method right. So, now take moment take moment about take moment about point C now take moment about point C right. So, 
so this is disabled and the only thing this is enabled i mean after section line first you have to draw the section line and how many forces are there minimum forces that we have to select where the minimum forces are acting that we have to select here only rb and this two forces are there whereas here one two three four forces are there leave it this section and we have to select the bottom of section line right so this is the bottom of section line that's why here the line is dock line right this is disabled and this is enabled now we want to take moment about b point right so force into perpendicular distance already we know that rb value into perpendicular distance 5 meter rb which is equal to 15 kilo newton right so rb into perpendicular distance 5 meter plus plus what is what is the value of um, vertical forces here this f a f b a which is inclined which is divided into two component one is vertical component another one is horizontal component right this is horizontal and this is vertical the vertical component which is f b a sin 60 degree and horizontal component f b a into cos 60 degree right so this is vertical so force into perpendicular distance so r b is Uh, rb is clockwise direction whereas this fb sin 60 degree is also clockwise direction that's why fba sin 60 degree right into the perpendicular distance phi with respect to point c right which is equal to 0 so rb is a known value and we have to calculate rba rb which is equal to 15 newton so substitute 15 newton into 5 right so plus fba sin 60 degree into 5 which is equal to 0 so now fba we have to calculate right which is equal to what is the value minus of 1732 kilo newton right so our assumption is towards upward from this point with respect to b the arrow mark towards upward which means the what we got which is a tensile force right so the value which we got which is a negative value we have to convert into positive so f ba which is equal to 17.32 kilo newton a compressive force right clear now this is we got now we have to find f bc right now take moment about now take moment about moment about point b or a a is okay a right so from this point we have to take this right now rb into perpendicular distance so from this point rb into perpendicular distance this is the perpendicular value with respect to point a which is x right clear so rb right into 2.5 of this value into perpendicular distance right 2.5 cos 60 degree because here this is divided into two component one is horizontal another one is vertical right so 2.5 into 60 degree which is equal to f b c this is f b c right into 2.5 of sin 60 degree right so from this rb is known value so from this we can calculate fbc which is equal to 8.66 kilo newton so what we assumed outward from the point b so fbc which is equal to a tensile force right or if you want to if you want to use this two formulas you can use instead of taking moment in this area right thank you